Welcome back to The Breakfast. It's, it's time for Plus Trending, when we look at topics that drove conversations on social media over the weekend. And as many had predicted, the hashtag end SARS now and end SARS brutality ruled the trend map over the weekend. More protesters stormed the streets of Lagos, accompanied virtually by several others in the United Kingdom, Berlin and Canada, all chanting the same words, end SARS now. Jimo Ishiaka, I beg your pardon, was killed and several others injured during the protests in Ogbomosho while protesters in Abuja were greeted with tear gas and water cannons shot by the police to disperse them. Then, of course, we had the congratulations Nigerians hashtag began to trend as news broke on Sunday evening that the IG had dissolved SARS across the country. It was also closely followed by the hashtag 5 for five. Here to discuss all of these and of course the latest situation in Lekki Tollgate is our social media manager, Buki November. A pleasure as always to have you here. Same here, no, same here. I mean, uh, tell us what more can you add to this conversation really? What's going on? Okay, so the question most people are asking online is that why, is, why are people still protesting despite the fact that the IG has already made the announcement? There's no more SARS officially, right? Yeah, but then in any other part of the world, I'm guessing today should be a day where people celebrate and just congratulate each other. But we've seen these announcements happen over and over again. So you see, Nigerians are not having it. We've heard it before. We want to see it happen. And that's why there's still more protests today. I mean, yes, they've made the announcement. But then hashtag 545 told the IG what our own five things, or what the Nigerian youths want, the five things we also demand from them. You know, So first off, on that list, we had... Um, Immediate release of all arrested protesters, justice for and compensation for the deceased um, people and their families, to set up an independent um, body to investigate, prosecute police misconduct, psychological evaluation may, for may these ask, guys. Who, who and then, curated these five agenda? Okay, so you know we have people who are leading these protests. It's not a silently. random, you, silently, it's not random. And then you don't even need them to come and say, these are things that we want. We've, you've seen comments online that mention these things. So I guess they just put them together and then, and then share them as, okay, this is the summary of the demands Nigerian youths are putting out there. The last one is one that I actually like a lot. It says, increase police salaries. You know, to compensate them because maybe they feel like they're not getting enough compensation for the work they do. That's why they harass people and they make people feel like they don't belong in this community. So, yes, increase their salaries. And that one really, really spoke to me because it showed that we're not just there shouting and protesting. These guys are also there looking out for you people. It's one Nigeria. It's, we are the same. They just want the best for everybody. So, yes, protests have continued, as you know. Lucky to get right now. They've declared today a public holiday by the Nigerian news. You get, and then the boldness these people have to actually come out is what I'm sure. In the beginning, they felt like, oh, this was just going to be two days. They'll be done with it. And the last time I saw a protest of this magnitude was Occupy Nigeria, and I was even very little there. But to see it happening in my generation, it just it shows me that there's something there's something special about this generation. It can. Nigeria can't do, do you see, because some people say um, a real revolution starts from basic concerns that are left uh, to fester. Do you see this spiraling into more comprehensive issues away from police yes. brutality? Yesterday, yesterday, hashtag end ASU strike was trending. So you see, it's beginning to open, people are beginning to realize that, you know what, our voices can be heard. Another reason why most people, and I heard Dilbora say that, Another reason why most people are furious online and furious, and another reason for the protest is because the president hasn't said anything. He hasn't come out to say anything. I mean, you speak through the IG and speak through the, and the Senate was congratulating the uh, president, saying, oh, yeah, thank you for what you've done. But then the reality is that he hasn't still said anything. He hasn't addressed us. It took coronavirus for him to come and address us. It took Independence Day for it. So why can't you just address Nigerians? Just talk to us. Let us know that this is happening. Let us know that you're in, you, you really have banned them. This is what is going to happen so far. And another question they're asking is, what happens when we see these patrol? Because most people say they will Because they're still reporting. Yeah, exactly. Them on the so street. what happens when we see them? 
what All should right. Nigerians do? Um, How should they address them? Talking of Nigerians now, we asked our viewers on social uh, media to share their comments um, on ways to curb uh, police brutality uh, in Nigeria. We'll start with uh, uh, someone that goes uh, by the tag, Prex86. The person says, any tactical team to be set up in future should act like SWAT team in the U.S. Each police division should have one and members of such units should never be deployed to any operation except for the purpose they are assigned and trained for. Uh, went on to say we should only see them when there is a need for it. Uh, if police emergency numbers worked in Nigeria, there will not be need for criminals called SARS being on patrols. And uh, we have uh, OB Ajegbo saying uh, they should uh, retain them, but they have to undergo psychiatric sessions and evaluations. Uh, remember, you can also join the conversation. Our social media handle is at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And of course, uh, YouTube, you can drop your comments regarding topics we post daily on these platforms using the hashtag Plus TV Africa. Send your comments and opinions to us on uh, WhatsApp 0906005719 and we will share them here on the show. All right. That's all the time we have uh, for uh, Plus Trending for today. Thank you so much, Bookie November, for You're stepping welcome. in. And uh, Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.